reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. <clears throat> I just have one question Where are the Angelina Jordan fans? You guys thought I had forgotten about you? That I just went on with my life and forgot about this musician and all the support you guys have given me and the channel? I would never. So here we are. Uh, Angelina Jordan, Bohemian Rhapsody, America's Got Talent, The Champions won January 6th, 2020. Man, it's crazy because the uh, first video I saw of her was, I think, from last year, 2023. And she looks so much younger here. Uh, so, I mean, she has grown quite a bit, which makes sense because she was probably like, what, 14 or 15 here? But yeah, I'm interested to see this one. And uh, guys, bear with me. I will get to all the videos eventually. Every single one, even if it takes me years. But uh, I just figured this was probably one of the most requested ones. And um, it is such an iconic song. Bohemian Rhapsody, probably the most covered song ever. With maybe that one and Hallelujah. But I really let me know in the comments if you think there is a more a high a, a higher higher requested song. Does that make sense? Because everybody everybody has covered this song and it is not an easy one. So I'm curious to see how she handles it. It's America's Got Talent. It's been a while since I last saw that show. I used to watch it all the time. So many additions, literally since season one. I remember when it was um. Howie Mandel, it was uh, David Hasselhoff, uh, Sharon Osbourne, and um, who was the tall guy that, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. The uh, super tall guy with the curly hair glasses, uh, he has his, his own uh, podcast. Oh man, 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 this is going to annoy me. All right, guys, let me know in the comments because uh, I need to know. Howie, it's... Uh... Ah, damn it. All right, no, we, we don't have time. Let's get on with the video. So get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on, on, on. And let's go. Howard Stern. Howard Stern, that's his name. Let's go. Since I was very little, I just wanted to sing for Simon. I really want to impress him. That would be so amazing. And this is the biggest opportunity of my life. I really hope to win the show. The nostalgic music. Yeah. You think you can? I hope so. Miss Angelina Jordan, go out there and show Simon what you got. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, 2014? I thought, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys mentioned it, but wow. 2014, that's crazy. That's six years younger than what she was already here. So she was nine, I think you guys said. So she's 15 here. That's incredible. Nine years old winning you know a whole country's talent show so tell us how old were you when you won i was seven years old you were seven years oh. old so you are now 13 <laughs> and 13 yes so you're 13, 13. <laughs> yeah i've waited 10 years to sing for simon and i'm oh. finally <laughs> oh really yes. so yeah. I i've been waiting all my life oh lord Oh Lord. Okay, I'll stop pausing, guys. I know you, you don't like it when I pause. Um, this is just for entertainment purposes only. Never forget it. Three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight. No, <laughs> what is it? What is it about Simon? He's just amazing and he's a legend. <laughs> he is a legend. He is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. 
Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. She has an older voice. Like, her regular voice sounds like she's, yeah. like, older. <laughs> like, in her 40s, maybe. Okay, I'll comment on it right after the video ends. I'm just gonna keep playing the rest of this. Insane. I feel like I am witnessing the birth of something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance, is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. So what is click up? They just cut it off there. Okay. Um all right. Okay, okay. First things first, we skip this ad, we hit the like, we subscribe to this channel, and um I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. As Simon said, I had never heard a version of this song before because as I said before, um I have heard so many covers and versions of Bohemian Rhapsody. It's crazy. But I think this one, it, it's so, uh, so smooth and so comfortable. I don't know. She has a really comfortable voice that I think fits well with obviously a lot of genres different styles you guys have mentioned how she, you know she has so many different voices and can adapt to anything but i think to me after hearing well only three songs uh, i can only give my opinion on you know the ones i have heard and i'm gonna look them up right here just so i can show you i do have a playlist for her songs i make a playlist for every artist 
I put a spell on you. Oh, this is the fourth. Okay. Unchained Melody. Then I saw I put a spell on you. And uh, the most recent one, Driving Home for Christmas. And now Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I think Driving Home for Christmas was such a fitting song to her voice. Because I feel like she is... Like she's an old soul from the 60s, maybe 50s. And even her appearance, her demeanor, she looks very mature for 13 years old. No nerves, uh, looks unfazed, super like comfortable, you know, in, on the stage. And of course, she has so much experience. If she won uh, Norway's Got Talent at seven, then she's been performing all her life basically so this is probably nothing to her but still um I, I just i'm surprised at how well she handles the you know like the interview at the beginning just standing there i could never guys i would be if if you put me up there on that stage in front of all those people those judges i would be i would be coughing peeing puking sneezing everything at once uh it's just so nerve-wracking uh, for someone like me so for her to be just standing there comfortably right like she's not even she's very still i've noticed that in all her performances like she's warm because usually when you're nervous you get cold uh, palms are sweaty knees weak arms are heavy there's vomit on your sweater probably could come from mom's spaghetti um did you get that reference? So, I don't see her like even tweaking or anything. And she just, she's come, she's just doing her thing and her eyes, right? She looks focused. Uh, she's not like, you know. I, I don't know. It's just she looks very comfortable on stage, which which is surprising. Even if you have the experience and you've been in many stages, um, you could still show a little bit of of nerves but uh, not with her and like I said at the beginning here even her regular voice to me sounds like an older woman I'm gonna hear it again seven years oh. old oh, so you are now 13 and 13 yes oh uh, really yes. so wow. us three have what nothing is... <laughs> and I keep pausing what is it what is it about Simon he's just amazing and He's a legend. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you listen to her with your eyes closed, she she sounds like she could be literally like an older woman. And I I don't mean, you know, like it's not it's just an observation, not with disrespect or anything, but she doesn't sound like a like a teenager to me. Um this rendition of the song so many runs so smooth the transitions <clears throat> this is a song that's very jumpy right to me it's like doo, 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 doo. it goes from like one thing to the other highs lows slow quick up down around twisted inside outside all over right but um not to me it it sounded so like uh so smooth throughout like a completely almost like a, a different song um man my man impressive impressive what else can i say guys this is uh this is just a little piece of what she can do i am excited to check out her other videos please comment down below what you would suggest i listen to next man who, who the heck is calling me while i'm doing videos my god you know what Airplane mode. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I, I should be more professional here. But um, anyway, uh, we improvise and we continue. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I really enjoyed uh, her voice. It's very comfortable to listen to. I could listen to it for for days without getting saturated or you know overwhelmed. It's just a very comfortable voice that I think... Uh, for some reason, um, to me, sounds like it, it comes from the 60s, from voices of women that I think in my head back in the day. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what's next. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at George the Cloud. And guys, join the channel. Please. At the end, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.